Hey guys, welcome back to DAV Tech. So in our previous video, we discussed the UI 2.1 update and the host of new features that it brought to the camera, the gallery app, the texting translations, quick share. But I did not mention that it also brought some updates to Samsung DeX. And for those of you that don't know what Samsung DeX is, essentially it allows you to plug your Galaxy device into a laptop or monitor and your phone becomes your computer, which is pretty crazy. You can browse the internet, sift through your documents, your apps, play games, all of those things. So today, we're going to be discussing all the new updates to the Samsung DeX. All right, let's do it. Okay, so the first big improvement we're going to be going over has to do with the snapping of the windows to the screen. Before, you had to use navigation with the arrow keys, the directional buttons. Now, you can actually just, the way that you would on a normal computer, you can drag the window to the right or left side of the screen and it will snap to that side correspondingly. Additionally, you can pull the window to the top of the screen and it will make it full screen for you. Honestly, this is really helpful. It makes snapping your different apps and multitasking on your screen a lot more convenient than it was before. So in terms of that update, huge thumbs up. Okay, and so now if we dig deeper into the DeX settings, you'll find gestures for the touchpad. And now essentially what that'll let you do is apply three finger taps, four finger taps, or five finger taps to different corresponding functions. So you can single tap with your index finger, of course, and that'll act as a left click on a mouse. You can double tap with two fingers at once and that'll act as a right click on a mouse. And now for the three, four, and five finger taps, you have options. The first of these gestures is show all apps, and that's exactly what it sounds like. You activate this gesture and it'll open up your app drawer, allow you to sift through your apps. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The second of these gestures are the home function as well as recents and back. And again, those are all exactly what they sound like. You activate your corresponding gesture if you wanna do three finger tap for home, four finger tap for recents, or five finger tap for back. You can do anything that you would like and that'll open up your home, your recents tab, or send you back to your previous page. Now the fifth of these new gestures are open notifications. And again, exactly what it sounds like. So you can activate this tap with the three, four, five finger option and allow you to see all of your notifications from Twitter, Instagram, Gmail, your texts, any of those things. And the final function is the quick panel option. So you activate your gesture and allow you to toggle your locations, your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Oh, and before I forget, Bigsby Routines was also updated to support Samsung DeX. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Bigsby Routines, essentially it allows you to activate a sort of if this, then that service. And so, for example, say when I plug in Samsung DeX, the first thing it's going to do is open YouTube Studio. You can also have this do a whole range of different options. You can have it open up Spotify if you want to to place music for you as soon as you activate it. You can have it so that it turns off your Wi-Fi and turns on Bluetooth, or you can have it so that it switches to landscape mode to make using those touchpad features easier. So Bigsby Routines is really cool. Um, I haven't covered that here on the channel. If that's something you guys would like to see in action more of, please do let me know in the comment section down below. All right, on to the next thing. Now, something to note is that as of right now, the Galaxy S20 series is the only series that has access to this range of new gesture features. I did contact Samsung customer service to see if perhaps I was missing something on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus but they did confirm that in fact, the 10, 9, and 8 series iterations of the Samsung Galaxy line do not have access to these features just yet. They said they will be coming in an update in the coming days, so I'll be keeping you guys up to date with that. So for those of you with the S20 series or the Ultra, congratulations, you have access to all of these features. For the rest of us with a 10, 9, or 8 iteration in the series, we have to hold off just a little bit longer. 
All right, guys, so we had those new updates to the tab swapping, snapping to the left and the right of the screen, making things full screen. The new gesture updates for those of you that have the S20 or the Ultra, the Bigsby routine integration to Samsung DeX. If you guys are new to the channel and I hope you learn anything new at all today, you might consider hitting the subscribe button right down here or right down here so you can stay up to date on all the latest news and reviews, all things tech. For those of you who have been here for a little while now, you might notice that my voice sounds a bit closer to the screen, a bit punchier, and you're wondering why. You'll have your answer this Friday. So thank you guys again so much for stopping by and hanging out. Until next time, and as always, peace, love, adios. Bye, everybody.